Hi loves, welcome to my channel, this mama loves Disney. Okay you guys, so my grandson and I got out and we ended up stopping at Five Below and we also stopped right next door at Party City. Okay, so when I ran into Party City, this is what I ended up picking up. I ended up finding some napkins. So if you're new to my channel, uh, I just want you to know that I always use napkins as tissue paper. I think it is just a cute way to fancy up a small bag or a small box um, with colorful images, okay? So um, this is Princess Aurora, and she must be a popular princess because there was only one of these. And then I went ahead and picked up a Raider one. Um, now you guys can use them for tissue paper. You can also use them for card decorating. I believe I have a video. I don't know if it was a tutorial, but I know I probably linked the tutorial, which shows, um, a shark card where you get the double sided tape. This one happens to be from scrapbook.com. And I think, but when I did the original, I just used little strips. Um, this is a four inch tape that's double sided. And so you probably can uh, just put um, napkin cards and see what comes up for napkin cards also as well. And then also you can uh, get wax paper and you can iron wax paper on the images to make them um, paper. And um, there's lots of tutorials out there for those as well. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I use napkins. And sticking with the whole theme for um, sports, um, I ended up getting this confetti to use for shakers. Um, it just happens to be perfect for Raiders because it has silver footballs. And I thought maybe I can go ahead and um, see if my alcohol inks would work on the threading. Um, just put some black on there. Um, and then, yeah, so this is, I just thought this, this mixture was great for shakers. Then I had already opened this because I wanted, I did not want to do this on camera just in case it, it made a mess everywhere. Um, but I did try it out and it wasn't so bad. So these are just little cupcake picks. And let me show you what I used. If you don't have these tools in your, um, in your um, stash these are great tools to have or if you have them out in the garage and your husband has them oh you need to borrow them <laughs> okay so these are just little thick um, plastic pieces okay and these are um, PVC pipe cutters my husband bought it either Home Depot or Lowe's I can't remember where he picked it up Okay, and these are awesome. I use these for so many different projects. They're very, very sharp. So absolutely do not leave these in the company of little fingers. No, 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 no. Okay, so they're even scary for big fingers. But you just go ahead and put this as close as you can to the football or whatever you're cutting. Okay, I'm gonna kind of just go like this and hold it in both places. All right, and then I just wanna make sure I put it back together and I get it up and out of the way of little fingers. Okay, so there you go, you have the two pieces. And if you don't have these particular kind of um, little snippers, this is a snippers that I ended up getting from Harbor Freight. They are absolutely awesome. They were not expensive at all. This is actually a really, really awesome um, tool to have in your stash if you can, um, if you have a Harbor Freight near you, or you can probably find them at Lowe's or Home Depot as well. Okay, so really quick. So you have that little piece. If you don't have snippers. Um, you can also probably use a nail file. I would suggest a metal nail file um, if you can. And you can find those sometimes at Dollar Tree or um, Sally's. Okay, and then you just get the little edge right here like that. And then just kind of cover it so it doesn't snap and go anywhere. And there you go. Yeah, that little piece cut off right there. It's a little bit sharp on one end. Let's try again. Just get that little, yep, got that little piece. So there you go. Then you have your football. 
So like I said, you can get these little um, snippers um, at Harbor Freight. Absolutely awesome to have in your stash. When I was there, I ended up picking up two. I keep um, one for um, jewelry and then I keep another one just for like little um, projects like I just did right there, okay? So I thought those would be cute to put on packaging, okay? And I know guys don't get all excited, but I think they initially get excited when they first open up something and they see football. I think guys get excited anytime they see anything with sports. <laughs> that's just me, or that's just our family. Okay, and then I ended up picking up this cute little uh, pencil sharpener. Um, super cute. It's just a little alien um, flying saucer. And um, I just, I couldn't pass it up. So I thought if um, I can either use it for a project, if I don't use it for a project, I can go ahead and give it to my grandson and he can use it for his little colored pencils. So I got that. Oh, <clears throat> I did end up finding some stuff on clearance. Um, this actually wasn't $2, these were a dollar, but I did pick up these little invitations because I thought they would be perfect to use the images. So let's go ahead and open it really super quick to see what they look like. Okay, so they open like this. Okay, so what you could probably do if you wanted to just use these images right here, you would just cut it right here and then you can glue that with a background right onto a card if you like for anything that was Toy Story. And then you can fussy cut some of these images. If you do have another word that you'd like to fit in here, you could probably look through your stash and then just probably put, if you have a small happy birthday, you might be able to fit a small happy birthday. If it doesn't fit, you can just go ahead and see what you have. If you have maybe a tag, and you can put a tag there with a, a colored background, maybe a red or a light blue background, and then put maybe a word on there. You can even just write somebody's name on it. It doesn't matter. Um, but these are just different ways that you can use these. And, you know, you can go ahead and f f fussy cut Forky out if you want, or a little alien, or, um, oh my God, I can't think of his name right now. Oh, my Slinky, okay? Then, because of the images, I love the images on some of these little um, characters. There's the banner pieces right there. And it has a bunch of the Toy Story 4 uh, characters on there. So I did pick this up since, um, you know, the images are already there. And I thought, well, I can probably use them for something. So I did pick those up because being a Disney lover, you want to have items in your stash for, you know, um, everything if you can, you know, because you never know what you're going to need. Um, these little baggies were on clearance. They're just little loot bags, but they're perfect for happy mail if you want to send something happy mail um, for a child or an adult, depending on who loves Toy Story. And I have been trying to find more items that are Lion King because I absolutely love Lion King. My ba bedroom is kind of like a safari with uh, Lion King in it. So um, I did find these and I went ahead and grabbed those. I think I might have some smaller Lion King bags, but these are the larger, so I did pick those up. And then with the whole space little theme here, I ended up finding some little Stitch characters. My grandson um, has inherited all the Disney toys that my kids used to play with. And um, the boys, one of my sons particularly, would love to watch a Disney movie and he would line up all the little characters in front of it. They had like a little collection of characters that would come in this little package at the Disney store. And, um, or there was different times we would just collect individual little characters and he would line them all up as he's watching the movie. And one of his favorite movies is Stitch. And so I did go ahead and pick this up. I thought it would be cute to add to some little decorations here and there and the baby could play with them. Or I call him baby, but my grandson. And then um, I did find this cute little one. I had to get this. I couldn't pass it up. I just couldn't. Um, it's a little alien um, from Toy Story. And he is dressed up like Boo from Monsters, Inc. <laughs> And I just, I, I couldn't. 
I was like, I have to do this. I have to get this for my Halloween decorations. <laughs> it's just too perfect. It's an alien and a scary monster. Well, not a scary monster, but a little monster. So um, I thought this would be cute with my Christmas, I mean, uh, excuse me, my Halloween decorations. Oh my gosh. And it's so funny. I'm looking at it right now and it has little bubbles, little holes in there for like air to get through. That is just kind of funny. But yeah. So that is my um, haul, guys. Thank you so much for taking some time out of your busy day to spend it with me. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.